In this video, let's see another numerical problem based on the concept of types of matrices. We have already seen in the previous video one numerical problem and we also know what are the various types of matrices. In this video, let's see another numerical problem which has three parts enough to make you understand the basic concept of the types of matrices. Let's read the question together and let's see what the question has to say. The question is give an example of that means you have to give an example yourself of the three parts one by one. The first part is what a row matrix a row matrix you already know which has only one row which is also a column matrix that means a matrix which is both a row matrix and a column matrix. Now focus on this any matrix which has only one row and which also has only one column. How is this possible? It is only possible when it is a matrix comprising of only one element. See, answer to the first part. Suppose the answer I quote is this element 5 in a matrix. Now, which has one row, one column. One row, one column means the order should be one by one. Only then it is possible that it has one row, one column. So, for the first part, any example you can quote, the example should be such that the order is one by one. It can be either five or any other element placed in the matrix, say H, which is also a one by one matrix or 10 or nine, anything of that sort. So the first part is as simple as that. It says that you need only one row and one column. One might not write eight, one may write it as say nine. Any example can be there. This part is clear, the first part is done. What about the second part? Let's read the second part. The second part expects me to find or give an example of a diagonal matrix. Diagonal matrix, you know, which has what? Which has non-diagonal elements as zero and diagonal elements as non-zero. So, a diagonal matrix which is not scalar. So, that means a scalar matrix should not be there. It should be only a diagonal matrix. For this part, you need to know what is a scalar matrix first. A scalar matrix is a type of diagonal matrix wherein all the diagonal elements are equal. But we do not need a scalar one. We need only a diagonal one. So, let's quote an example for the second part. The second part would be any diagonal matrix, say a diagonal matrix of the order 3 by 3. I am writing 3 by 3 means what? 3 rows, 3 columns. So the elements may be say 8, 0, 0, 0, 5, 0, 0, 0, 9. Is this a diagonal matrix? Yes, because only the diagonal elements are non-zero, rest are zero. Is this a scalar matrix? No, because the diagonal elements are not equal. So this type of example would do. Any other example if somebody would like to quote, that would be maybe a 2 by 2 matrix. A 2 by 2 matrix wherein we keep a diagonal matrix as elements such as 8 and 5 and the rest would be zeros. Is this a diagonal matrix? Yes. Is this a scalar matrix? No. Why? Because the elements are not equal. They are not 8, 8 or 5, 5. This part is also done. Let's move to the last and the final part. The final part expects me to give an example of a lower triangular matrix. So a lower triangular matrix is very easy. What is a lower triangular matrix? That matrix wherein if you draw the diagonal elements, if you mark the diagonal elements, the upper parts are zero, the lower is non-zero. So let's quote an example, any one example would do. I need a lower triangular matrix. First, let me draw a matrix of the order say 2 by 2. The diagonal elements say are 1 and 5. Now which element should be 0? Since it is a lower triangular matrix, first note the diagonal and after noting the diagonal, make the upper elements as 0. So this element would be 0 and this would be non-zero. Why? Because it is a lower triangular matrix. If somebody doesn't want the ordered 2 by 2 example, we can also quote a 3 by 3 example as what? Say I have a 3 by 3 matrix. 
3 by 3 matrix means 3 rows, 3 columns. Let's make the diagonal elements first. The diagonal elements are say 8, 5 and 4. Diagonal elements to be marked, we have already marked. Now, lower triangular means what? Diagonals upper should be 0. So, all the elements above the diagonal should be 0 and rest can be non-zero. So, suppose these are like 6, 9 and 11. So, in this video, we saw another numerical problem based on the concept of types of matrices.